Retained primitive reflexes, those that don't integrate by 12 months, may contribute to challenges experienced by individuals with autism. These reflexes can affect motor development, sensory processing and coordination, impacting various aspects of daily life. Some research suggests that retained primitive reflexes might be an early marker of autism spectrum disorder, ASD, with certain reflexes like the asymmetric tonic neck reflex, ATNR, potentially persisting longer in children with ASD. Here's a more detailed look. What are primitive reflexes? Primitive reflexes are involuntary, automatic responses that develop in infancy and typically integrate or are suppressed by the brain by around 12 months of age. Examples include the Moro reflex, startle reflex, rooting reflex, and palmer grasp reflex. How retained primitive reflexes might affect individuals with autism, motor development. Retained reflexes can interfere with proper motor development, leading to difficulties with coordination, balance, and posture. Sensory processing. Retained reflexes can contribute to sensory sensitivities, making it challenging for individuals to process sensory information from their environment, such as light, sound, and touch. Coordination. Retained reflexes can make it harder to coordinate movements, impacting fine motor skills like writing or drawing, and gross motor skills like walking or climbing. Social and emotional development. Retained reflexes might impact social interactions and emotional regulation, as they can influence attention, focus, and the ability to process social cues. Academic skills. Difficulty with reading, writing, and other academic tasks can be linked to retained reflexes, as they impact fine motor coordination and sensory processing. Early markers of ASD. Some studies suggest that the persistence of primitive reflexes beyond the typical time frame or the appearance of certain reflexes later than expected, might be an early sign of ASD. For example, research by Teitelbaum and colleagues suggested that the ATNR might be retained in individuals with ASD and the absence of the head verticalization response to body tilt in some infants could be a marker for ASD. Potential for intervention. Primitive reflex integration therapy, which involves specific exercises and activities to retrain the brain and body, is sometimes used to address challenges related to retained reflexes. The goal is to help integrate these reflexes, improving motor skills, sensory processing, and other areas of development. Important considerations. Not everyone with retained primitive reflexes has autism. Retained primitive reflexes are just one factor that may contribute to challenges experienced by individuals with autism. Intervention strategies, like reflex integration therapy, are not a cure for autism, but may help improve certain areas of function, 